VMware Cloud Foundation typically downloads software update bundles from the internet. But due to policy or technical reasons, some VCF deployments cannot connect directly to the online depot. I'm Eric Gray from VCF Technical Marketing, and in this video, you'll learn how to use the offline bundle transfer utility to set up an offline depot for SDDC Manager 5.1 and 5.2. To get started, download the latest release of OBTU from the Broadcom support portal. An offline depot is based on a standard web server. This example uses Rocky Linux 9.3 with Apache. Choose a volume with adequate free space and create a new directory for the depot of software bundles. Also create a directory for the OBTU. Set the ownership and access permissions according to your standards. Extract the tar file that was downloaded from the support portal. Once the files are in place, make the LCM bundle transfer utility script executable. The bundle transfer utility has many command line parameters which accommodate a wide range of use cases. For this scenario, use the new setup offline depot parameter and specify the root dir that you created previously. Also indicate the FQDN of the offline depot web server. This process connects to the VMware online depot. Provide your Broadcom support portal credentials by specifying your username and the path to a text file containing your password. You can control the specific bundle downloads by including the source version parameter. When OBTU is used to create the offline depot, it runs in a completely unattended mode. This makes it possible to execute through automation. It will not prompt for any input, so if any of the parameters are invalid, the tool will exit. Another architectural point to note is that the OBTU process does not have to run on the same system as the web server. You can copy the entire downloaded directory structure to another web server on your network if needed. In order to complete the offline depot system configuration, you must set up an SSL certificate and basic authentication. Either generate a self-signed certificate or obtain one from your enterprise PKI service. After configuration, Test the offline depot URL from the command line to ensure everything is working. The certificate used on the offline bundle system must be trusted by SDDC Manager. To add a certificate, you can use the Developer Center interface or VCF REST API. Generate a properly formatted Trusted Certificate spec. Navigate to the Trusted Certificates API and execute a POST operation. An offline depot can be used with SDDC Manager 5.1 or 5.2, but each has a different configuration procedure. To configure VCF 5.1 to use an offline depot, you need to use a command line tool that is part of the OBTU distribution. Copy the tar file to SDDC Manager and extract the archive. Modify the ownership and file permissions. Navigate to the conf slash offline depot subdirectory to find the depot config Python utility. Execute the script, providing parameters to indicate the URL of the offline depot server. Next, log into the SDDC manager interface and use the authentication dialog box, originally intended for customer connect, to enter the username and password of the offline depot. This uses the basic auth credentials created for Apache, not the online VMware depot. After authenticating, you can download software bundles from the offline depot. VCF 5.2 introduces a new graphical configuration to set up an offline depot. Log into the SDDC manager and navigate to Depot Settings. Click on Setup and enter the hostname, port, and credentials. After that, you can proceed with bundle downloads and infrastructure updates as usual. Now you know how to create a secure offline repository of VCF software bundles within your network. This provides greater control and flexibility in managing software updates and deployments. For more information, visit the VMware Cloud Foundation blog.